cameras are on. It's time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. You can watch us right now on the Radio 1 website, on your phone, computer, laptop, tablet. Graham Swan off of Cricket Legend is here. Good to have you on today, Graham. Are you ready for this game? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> so you've seen the videos, you know how it works. Yeah, it's all, all I good, love yeah. this. All right, I'm a big you. fan of this. Oh, yeah. It's a bit off. You know, when I'm not in having to say that, yeah. I'm a big fan. Yeah, you're Thank actually you. a big fan. Yes. Or, yeah. Oh, this is great. I like it when they actually know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Watch us now on the Radio 1 website. Graham Swan is about to get a little bit wet on Innuendo Bingo. Let's make it a good one, lads. Right. Chin, chin. Bottoms up. Here we go. Now, Graham, you're a cricketer. So, what? That's true. So we thought we'd kick off with a cricket clip for you. Now, we're going over to Channel 5, and it's the coverage of England v Pakistan in the Test match. And it's Pakistan's captain, Mizbah ul Haq. Now, Pakistan were absolutely thrashed in this test, as you know, Graham. And um, obviously, I think that uh, generally, cricket is a gentleman's game, but... Um, I'm going to be honest, Miss Bar sounds like a little bit of a sore loser here. They haven't uh, taken wickets with the spin. The seam is bowled really well, so uh, we need to be ready for that because you can't control tosses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amazing clip to start things off there. Oh, wow. Thanks, Miss Bar. <laughs> you can't control tosses. It's true. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. Water, please. I didn't Graham. think I'd have to hold it in that long. <laughs> no. <laughs> Graham Swan on Any Domingo. What time to be alive? Now we're going to come dine with me on Channel 4. Truly amazing, I think, the lengths that some people will go to to win that £1,000 in that envelope. I really hope Jenny knows what she's doing here. In the kitchen, Jenny's thoughts turn to her intriguingly titled dessert, Etoile de Mer. Etoile de Mer. I mean, it just sounds... Just sounds rude, doesn't it? I wanted surround, to surround my chocolate starfish with a little mystery. <laughs> <laughs> and who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted surround, to surround my chocolate starfish with a little mystery. Thank you to Sarah. <laughs> Thank you to Sarah for spotting that one. I didn't know your laugh was like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's strange when you hear someone's laugh that you kind of know quite well, isn't it, for the first time? It doesn't match. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't match. <laughs> can't say that. He's sat in front of you. Rude. Oh, dear. OK. Water, please. <laughs> We're going back to the cricket. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> it was good today. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got the giggles now. It's going to be a problem. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Oh, no, Water, please. Here we go. <coughs> Back to the cricket, and it's former Prime Minister David Cameron off of. <laughs> what a legacy! <laughs> We've been doing that in a big way recently. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to stop. Off this. air. Do, 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 do. It's a good tune. Do, 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 do. Now, Graham, you're on the, uh, the the test match special team, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Would you would you have the nerve to ask questions like this? It's lovely to be here for a for an afternoon of, of uh, enjoyable cricket. You're right, and uh, you, you're quite happy to come. You're able to come. It's a problem for you to come. <laughs> to David Cameron. <laughs> At the cricket. Just. <laughs> Try to relax and enjoy himself. And uh, you, you, you're quite happy to come. You're able to come. It's, it's not a problem for you to come. <laughs> oh, you're amazing. Yeah, we his time, Graham. I think he was talking about the traffic. He was, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, water, please. Oh, dear. Here we go. Pretty wet, pretty wet today, Lance. Now it's uh, Mark Chappers Chapman on Five Live Sport off of going to the loo on this show and never coming back. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't watch Match of the Day that often. Um, 
Sorry, Champions. But if they promise more of this, I definitely will. Uh, earlier, uh, it finished Manchester United 1, Manchester City 2, if you weren't with us. We've already told you it's Arsenal 1, Southampton 1 at half time, and West Ham 2, Watford 2. You'll want to watch match of the day tonight to see Dimitri Payet's Rabona. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what's that, please? <laughs> it's not how it's... It, the Rabona. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, Because okay. I want to see it. What is it? It's like a... Fl it's sort of a flick. A clever, uh, flicky Pyatt football did. move. Leg goes football. behind. The Rabona. You'll want to watch Match of the Day tonight to see Dimitri Payet's Rabona. I look forward to that. <laughs> Martin Chapman there talking about uh, Dimitri Payet and his Rabona. Um... Oh, I've got it here. The method of kicking a football where the kicking leg is wrapped around the back of the standing leg. A Rabona. Paul and Leeds sent that one in. Thanks, Paul. Water, please. Now, back to the cricket. More on Five Live. Now, it is full of bizarre phrases and, and, and terms that I don't understand. Like, uh, is it Googly, is that one? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Silly mid-off? Mm-hmm. Maiden overs? Mm-hmm. What does it all mean, Graham? Mm-hmm. But... Imagine how pleased I was when I heard this. Something I can finally relate to in the cricket. There were 50 without loss after the first five overs, Nottinghamshire. Hales creaming willy into the mid-wicket boundary. <laughs> he just went over himself. Oh, Graham, you made a mess of yourself. <laughs> what? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Hales creaming Willy into the mid-wicket boundary. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't understand I don't know. that one. All right, okay, you don't get it either. Water, please. <sighs> I'm drenched. <laughs> Absolutely drenched. <laughs> oh dear. Now we're going over to Highbrow Quiz Only Connect on BBC Two. At last, after years of watching this quiz, something I can finally understand. And that's it. Your time is up at the wall. Has frozen, but you found a group. And can you tell me what connects Cheney advocat Francis Turpin? They're all dicks. They are all dicks. I can confirm that is correct. <coughs> it's true, they are all dicks. Dick Cheney, Dick Advocat, Dick Turpin, Dick Francis. All dicks. <laughs> Oh. Loads and loads of you sent that one to us. Uh, if you spot a new end, remember, remember you can email scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. You know I love your emails. Okay. Oh, you all right? You Good. okay there? Yeah. Only got a couple more, Graham, and you can you can dry off. Any shout-outs for anyone or this point? No? <laughs> no, my little boy, Will. He, he's yeah. devastated. He's at school. He can't listen to this. Oh, you can watch it later, though, when I play he it. He will be watching it later. Awesome. Hello, son. Hello, son. Hi, Will. Right. Now we're going to Radio 1's Alice Levine. Alice has never had a catchphrase, but I do admire her for trying out this one with Bear Grylls. It's quite humbling when you see kind of what pe ordinary people have been through and it will make you cry and it will leave you feeling like you conquer the world. Wow, that is such a promise and don't come on a full stomach. I mean, it could catch on, Alice. <laughs> don't come on a full stomach. <laughs> it's no all right treacle, is it? <laughs> Hello. Thank you to Scott in Cannock for sending that one in. <laughs> and finally... Don't oh, come on a right, full stomach. Right, here we go. Let's have it. Finally, over to Test Match Special on Five Live with the legend, Jonathan Agnew. Aggers has been doing Test Match Special for years. And that's why he's never afraid to speak his mind. The umpires are on their way, taking uh, rather watery shadows with them. So it's a little bit of sunshine at the moment. The stewards are vacating, thankfully. Off they go. Well, the menacing chap there with the large black beard uh, heading off over the boundary. Wouldn't like to uh, cross swords with him, necessarily. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and that was Graham Swan, in the bingo. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being awful and 10 being great. Graham, how much did you enjoy it? 9. A nine? That's solid. There you go, mate.